Okay, look at this fucking bullshit. Bullshit, I dare you. Okay. So I think I found what I'm meant to be doing. The owl is down one. I have the I have the poem open in another tab. Four legged. Okay. Now I just have to the lion thing. Oh, I thought the trash can was floating for a second, but it's just on a little pole. Why do they do that? Just make the trash can higher, idiot. Yeah, I'm talking to you, city planners. It's a very inconvenient puzzle to do. Because the, the solution to the puzzle is all the way up here. And you have to walk around everywhere. And sprinting, as you may have noticed, can be very irritating. Because when you're done sprinting... Okay, where the fuck is the lion thing? I'm so blind. When you're out of sprint juice... Okay, so that's the horse... Uh, when you have to sprint juice, you your running speed slows to a crawl, which it's just kind of annoying. Like it makes it makes me feel like I'm being punished for running. I feel like I've seen so many cars. Like, are there even this many cars in fucking Sweden? Like, I live in um, the United States, which is a, a country with a fetishization of the car. And so, like, every fucking person in this state... Not in this state. Every fucking person in this country... Locked. Has, um... Their own car that could seat, like, six, but they won't. Here we go. Stub my fucking toe again. I feel like I'm seeing little indication that I'm doing anything to these puzzle creatures as well. You see, look, now I'm slow. Notice that I don't seem to have anything. Okay. One moment, everyone. I will just figure out this puzzle. Hey, gang. Um, so we're back. I uh, started to record again. And then realized that I uh, forgot a plot crucial key item. So instead of just running back, I just loaded the save and acted like nothing happened. But seriously, you can fucking stub your toe on things. Oh, another wheelchair accessible thing. So you can actually liken um, carcass to someone in a wheelchair. Something's over here because I just paid. There you are. Um. 
And obviously, this isn't my opinion about people in wheelchairs. But Carcass is this uh, gnarled, ugly hunk of meat. Sophie. Simon, let me go. I love you. I love you, Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. Okay. For fuck's sake. I can't use her, I guess? Okay. So if I remember correctly, um... Chapter 4 is actually one of the worst in the whole game. And yeah, I'll be coming back for the nice stick because I don't want to miss that. Oh yeah, it turns out you can actually miss the nightstick. They just have a second one. So yeah. Um, first of all, kind of interesting that the game just like starts a new chapter in the middle of an area. Because normally there's like a big obvious load door after the boss fight. A generic key card with TL trading on it. I'm gonna go back to the next stick. <sighs> like, I get that inventory management puzzles are a thing, but I don't think weapons should be a part of that. I would much prefer, like, anything else. Or, or maybe just, like, you can always have a melee weapon that doesn't take up a slot. Because, like, what does the game expect to happen if... Like, for instance, let's say... The player finds themselves without any ammunition. But they drop the nightstick to do a puzzle. Like... I, I feel like that's the problem here, you know? And like, I'm hitting the Q button. Q does nothing in this game. And it's a very easy to hit button, you know? It's right next to the mouse. You know? Maybe that should be the quick melee to make the mouse make a little more sense. But like, they do have a quick melee. So why do you even need melee weapons, why not just emphasize the use of using quick melee? Because normally the reason, like, the, the thing about uh, shooters in the past is that Half-Life has the crowbar, you know? And if you want to hit something close to you with a with a, a weapon and not use ammo, you take out the crowbar. And Doom has the fist, you know? And Doom guy will punch stuff because the Doom Marine is fucking jacked. Save rotate. What the fuck? So, I don't know if you saw there, but uh, one of those guys just blew his own head off. It was this one. God. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a creepy looking enemy, but like... Yep, he did it again. But the fact that it's like this enemy with a fucking bag on his head... Like, it just... it's just a little weird, you know? Oh yeah, I looked up what this meant. Apparently this means rabbits. Everyone loves rabbits. 
like, not everyone loves rabbits, guys. My wife doesn't, but only because she has a crippling allergy to them <laughs> that will kill her if she's in close enough proximity, you know? And that's a valid reason to not want to be around rabbits, you know? If they will literally kill you, like if rabbits are your actual kryptonite. So I feel like I've found the uh, critical path to the objective pretty quick here. I'm just checking this area because it's a big area. And presumably this is a big area so you can do your big, like, doom shootout with all the guys. I've got to say. That enemy is so weird. It's another decent design. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered how this puzzle works. You have to fucking drop everything on the floor. You have to run back. And you have to get all the fucking fuses out of that, out of that fucking thing. Oh, man. Yeah, if I remember right, this is one of the reasons that, uh... This, this, this area, this area sucks. Oh, boy. Alright, and we're back. So I actually loaded a save before I even touched the puzzle at all. Um. Because I wasn't sure if it mattered the starting position. And it does. So me fucking around with the, with the, with the buttons is what fucked that up. Okay, cool. Shabooms. Inventory full. Inventory full? God, what do I do? Drop this, I guess. Gosh. I've got to see what can be done about, um... The inventory because that is a very small inventory I like how that lady heard that I had done a puzzle and was like oh shit better go get him you unlocked it like I guess does the game expect me to drop my guns because I dropped the nightstick because that makes sense to, you know, ditch the the shit weapon. Or no, I dropped the, the knife. Okay. Pretty standard. I mean, it's a new gun, so, like... Wait. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can do anything about my inventory. Alright, I just checked, and one of the things that this game specifically touts is that it has inventory management puzzles. So. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to give up on certain things, which is rather annoying. Guess I'll save the game here. Gustav Dahl. Okay. I feel better about having a second gun, though. That's cool. Or a second, like, real gun. Right. Okay, so this is one of my favorite enemies in this game. Can you guys see it? It's literally just a dude stuck in a bed, upside down floating. The mattress is bloodstained. 
Like, what an incredible design. Westbid Gardens. Tail trading AB. Didn't mean... I didn't want to go this way yet. Yeah, that is unironically one of my favorite designs. Like, it's just so fucked up. It's one of those things where you're like, where the fuck? Wh what am I looking at, you know? Like, what a cool enemy, you know? I'm gonna actually head back this way. Pop one of these bad boys. <sighs> oh, hello. I'm not sure what the way forward is yet, so I want to make sure that I, I get everything I can. Doors locked with a card. Okay, cool. Kind of weird that there's a load transition here, considering that I can see the other area through this door. Like, why would that be the case? Because normally, when a video game stops to load, you know, and have a loading screen, it's... Like, it's because... I I'm, I'm so blown away by that. It's so weird. It's because, like, it has to load something. But that area appears really small. I feel like there's going to be a jump scare in one of these hallways. Because, like, I'm, I'm fairly certain that the game is using those little hallways to cheat. I got actually scared there. Wow. There we Hello? go. Simon, is that you? Hello? I can't hear you. Who is this? Simon, it's Sophie, I think her name is? Where are you? Can you help me? What the fuck is going on in this town? You're what? You're up on the roof? I can't hear what you're saying. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? So something that would actually happen in, uh, Gold Source games. And recall that Gold Source is the engine that this game is made of, but also... Censored <laughs> legal advice. But also it's most uh, notable as the Half-Life uh, 1 engine. Uh, something that it would do is whenever you walked through a load area. Because sometimes, you know, a door would, would be what made you, you know, go through a loading screen. But sometimes you would just walk through the area, like the end of an area. And there would be a loading screen in the middle of the floor and you'd load in on the other side. I didn't even see that syringe. I was literally just clicking on the bench to see if I could sit down. Crazy. Okay, that one makes a little more sense because they didn't want to animate the doors opening, so they just had them like swing open. Michael Myers. I've learned that headshots actually don't matter in this game. Didn't see you there. Yeah, headshots don't matter in this game. The devs originally had it in, but they took it out because they didn't want to. God, I saw the the. the the gold source lighting happened where, like, the light should be on that thing, but it's... Oh, my God. I'm trying to do a bit here, asshole. Fine, of course. Oh, there's many men. I 
Okay, yeah, so the gold source thing. So right now the light should be illuminating that van, but it's not. But if I move... Uh, there it is. Yeah, see? Because all the way here, where the light should be on it, like the light is on even. Bam. 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 And so I saw that, and I got scared because I thought that there was like a giant grimace outside the outside the park. Like the McDonald mascot. They don't seem to be too bothered by my presence. I don't know when everyone just gotta go back to dual wielding. There we go. Second I get a fucking flashlight, I am throwing this fucking phone away. I thought you couldn't do headshots. Shovel. Inventory full. Uh, brother. Okay, well, let's drop this. I cannot drop my phone. It's impossible. Drop. Spade. Too flimsy to be used as a weapon. Bullshit. If that thing's tough enough to fucking pick up a goddamn hunk of dirt... Got crosses of blood on it. I should check it out. I'm here. M16 magazine. Interesting. So I'm here. That was probably one of them. I mean, I guess it would be one of them, seeing as it is an X marking the spot on a map, and I dug something and it gave me something. Do, 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 do. So there. I'm trying to find, like, landmarks here. Something, anything. Oh, and there's a door, of course. Oh, great. Don't you love uh, your parks that have walls? And doors that lead through the walls? This game doesn't suck, but I do feel like it needed some work. I think someone's dog has a drug problem. If your dog is like burying syringes, please take them to rehab. We want to see your dog get better. We're all rooting for your dog. Oh man. Like when one of those drug detecting dogs finds some cocaine and they sniff it and then bam. Instant addiction. There is? Oh, it's behind me. Wait, so that means that I can just mash the use key and walk around the entire park, right? I certainly can. It works. You can just jam on that button. Now, of course, this means that I should take a little break in recording so people don't have to watch this. Actually, no. Let me talk about some weird game design things that this game does. So it does have the thing where it's like, hey, you can dig here if you want. But it doesn't have the thing where you do that with doors. It just expects you to remember that. And why? Like, I don't know why this puzzle, I guess, is like this. It's not as though... um Like, it, it's, it's really just giving you the items with extra steps. 
Because you have to fucking wander around the whole park. And that's annoying. And then you also have to have the inventory for the, the shovel. Like, the whole thing's just kind of irritating. Okay. So there's another way here, I think. I'm going to see if I got the one over here. I didn't. Like, yeah, this is just giving me the... Music cue? This is giving me the stuff with extra steps. Got that one. It's kind of tedious, I guess. And like, you'd know, yeah, I'm making you watch it. What's, what could possibly be blocking this door? What kind of bullshit is that? Can I... Can I turn on no clip? Damn. I, I, I literally just wanted to turn it on and see what was going on back there. If anything. Bonk. How long have I been recording? Oh wow, this is the same episode, huh? No, this is a different episode, right? Okay. So I could actually keep going. Key is found behind the bus stop. Okay, cool. Yeah, I literally have a walkthrough open because this game is old and I don't want to bother. So again, why? Why why does the game, you know, give you why, why bother? Why does the game give you like that with extra steps? Why is this blocked off over here? There aren't any items back here. So why can you go over here? What, is it? what a mysterious game. Honestly. I will say, um, this game absolutely nails the, like, gloomy, uh, authentic city feeling. I actually, uh, I actually keep jumping at things. Oh, brother. Of course. Because it'd be too easy, you know? Whoa. What was the button for... No. Drop that. Like, honestly, what a mysterious game. I would love to see a sequel, though. Because I don't like Simon. Oh god, here we go. This is going to be fun. Was something behind me? Hello? Is it one of the Bedmans? Mario? What is... Someone shooting me, yeah. Where is he? 
Am I fucking blind here? Alright, I guess I'll be on my way. I think that's what that is, because I saw the blood after... After I was shot. Or as far as I know, I was shot. Ba -ba. Do -do. Do -do. Do -wa -wa. Damn. Also, I like this. I like the noise that, uh, you get. I don't know if I ever meant I, I ever finished that discussion, but when you see an area in um, Gold Source that is like apartment key. Wait, what? Where am I taking this thing? Oh, it's the other locked door. Shit, I'm an idiot. That area where I was like, why does this exist? That's the path forward. So again, why would they block it off with cars? Is it so you have to take a weird circuitous path through the... Through the park? Okay, that's definitely an enemy. There he is. Jesus. So is he just sniping me from like 40 feet away? Huh? Go back and get the nightstick. Excuse me, sir. Right. Now, luckily, it's equipped the uh, worst weapon in my arsenal to uh, to me mandatorily, uh, and I can't take it off until I get the fuck out of here because I would have to open the inventory. Wait, can I dual wield the shotgun? I was hoping. Shit's busted. I just realized this is another pitch black fucking apartment building I'm going through. Like, and I, I know that this is kind of like a. Well, that's the door. Obviously. No way, no way. <laughs> yeah, it's a hoodie. It's a fucking drawstring hoodie. Oh my god, my ribs hurt. <laughs> Ow, I literally like laughed myself into pain. Why is someone cooking a hoodie? I got a uh, chessboard, checkerboard. Some fucking converse. I'm getting a lot of pistol uh, bullets, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting even more rifle bullets. So I feel like the game almost wants me to replace the rifle with pistol. Alright. Guess I'm going that way. Um, and I don't... I know I have to go out the window because... Uh, oh, there's going to be a good cutscene, everyone. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, the game Swan Song is coming up. Wait, sniper rifle? 
I thought it was called the hunting rifle. Okay. Hey. There we go. Okay, so holding down the button makes you constantly scope in and out. But just clicking it makes you do the zoom regular style. Can I? <laughs> nice. Nice. You know what, actually, that's a good place to, uh, to stop it for uh, today. Um, but tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. You guys. You, you guys. Oh, man, you're going to like it. All right, I've been Alfred. This has been Cry of Fear. I hope everyone's ready for next time.